Introduction Suppose Rahul has a pizza. He has to share this with his sisters Reema and Nina. He has to give one third of it to Reema and same to Nina. Then how much is left for Rahul? Come, let's learn how to calculate the remaining part of the pizza left with Rahul. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to recognize like and unlike fractions, add and subtract the given fractions. Fractions such as 4 upon 8, 6 upon 8, 7 upon 8, 1 upon 8 with same denominator are called like fractions. Fractions such as 1 upon 4, 3 upon 5, 7 upon 8, 9 upon 11 with different denominators are called unlike fractions. Looking at the question we earlier asked, we can say that each of them, Rahul, Rima and Nina, received one-third part of pizza. Notice that this is also an example of like fractions. In like fractions, the fraction having the greater numerator is bigger than the fraction having the smaller numerator. In case of the unlike fractions having the same numerator, the fraction with the greater denominator is smaller than the fraction with the smaller denominator. Method 1. There are two methods to compare unlike fractions with different numerators and denominators. Let A upon B and C upon D are the two fractions where B, D is not equal to zero. In the first method, let A upon B and C upon D are the two fractions where B and D are not zero. To compare them, we find the products AD and BC. One, if AD is greater than BC, then a upon B is greater than C upon D. 2. If AD is less than BC, then A upon B is less than C upon D. 3. If AD is equal to BC, then A upon B is equal to C upon D. Method 2. In the second method, we change the denominator of a fraction without changing its value. In this example, the equivalent fractions of 4 upon 5 and 3 upon 4 with the same denominator 20 are 16 upon 20 and 15 upon 20. Equivalent fraction of 4 upon 5 is equal to 8 upon 10 equals 12 upon 15 is equal to 16 upon 20 equals 20 upon 25 equals so on. Similarly, equivalent fraction of 3 upon 4 is equal to 6 upon 8 which equals 9 upon 12 which is equal to 12 upon 16 which is equal to 15 upon 20 and so on. 4 upon 5 is equal to 16 upon 20 and 3 upon 4 is equal to 15 upon 20 16 upon 20 is greater than 15 upon 20. We have 4 upon 5, which is greater than 3 upon 4. Students, sum of two or more like fractions is obtained in two steps. First, we add the numerators. Second, retain the common denominator. And finally, Write the fraction including both the results. To get the difference of two like fractions, first we subtract the smaller numerator from the bigger numerator, 
Second, retain the common denominator. Then, write the fraction including both the results. We have learned to add and subtract the like fractions. It is also not very difficult to add unlike fractions that do not have the same denominator. When we have to add or subtract these fractions, we first find equivalent fractions with the same denominator and then proceed. For example, 3 upon 7 and 1 upon 4 are two unlike fractions. In order to add them, first we find their equivalent fractions with the same denominator. These are 12 upon 28 and 7 upon 28. Note that 28 is the least common multiple LCM of 7 and 4. In another example to find subtraction of unlike fractions, first we need to find equivalent fractions of 3 upon 4 and 1 upon 3, which have the same denominator given by the LCM of 4 and 3. The required LCM is 12. Therefore, the subtraction of 3 upon 4 and 1 upon 3 is 5 upon 12. Mixed fractions can be written either as a whole part plus a proper fraction or entirely as an improper fraction. One way to add or subtract mixed fractions is to do the operations separately for the whole parts and the other way is to write the mixed fractions as improper fractions and then directly add or subtract them. Summary let us summarize what we have learned. Fractions with same denominator are called like fractions. Fractions having different denominators are called unlike fractions. Like and unlike fractions can be compared by two methods. For addition of like fractions, first we add the numerators, secondly, we retain the common denominator and finally, write the fraction including both the results. For addition of unlike fractions, we need to find equivalent fractions which have the same denominator. Addition or subtraction of mixed fractions is performed by operating separately the whole parts and fractional parts. Other way is to write the mixed fractions as improper fractions and then directly add or subtract them.